from making her debut as a child actor in Jalpari to bringing back the J factor in Jawan. Hi, this is Samina Sheikh here, and join me as I welcome Leher Khan on Zoom channel. Thank you. Happy Thank to you. have you. Same here. <laughs> and Thank you. wanting to learn a lot of action scenes from you. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> literally, that shot it was was the best epic yeah. shot. I would say that. Thank you. How much preparation you did for this role? So, um, I think I, I'll uh, go back a little to Brahmastra first, and uh, that's where my whole training, action training, happened for the film itself. Uh, even though we didn't learn how to use gun, uh, but basic martial art training. So that sort of helped me in. Uh, Jawan, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, and then we ended up have uh, having you know some gun training, like different sorts of. So definitely, I do have like a sniper. Then there are like revolver. So uh, that happened. Other than that, we had action sequences uh, in which you know we um, had our training sessions and everything. Then we had our reading uh, reading sessions as well. So right before our uh, you know like the opening of the film, uh, I had a reading session for Kalki. And I was just in tears because you know we just went through the whole script and especially her flashback. So, so the whole preparation was more of just you know like I think preparation started with the fact that oh working with Charuk sir was the first thing that I want to prepare myself for, mm -hmm. and uh, then definitely for the role itself. And uh, yeah, so it just but it was definitely something that happened with time, yeah. like while we were shooting. So yeah. But as we talk about you working with Shah Rukh Khan, you missed that opportunity of working with him in Brahmastra, and I really want to know more about it. What exactly happened? Um, yeah, yeah. So um, I got to know in Brahmastra that uh, you know he um, he's a part of the film, but uh, in our script, like we don't really meet him. So I was looking forward to meeting him and uh, you know like sharing that screen. I don't know sharing screen, no, but at least just meeting him. Huh. And I was really heartbroken to know that uh, that's not happening. Then I thought maybe you know later on, some event, maybe some premiere, maybe somewhere I'll get a chance to meet him. But um, uh, before that, only I ended up getting Jawan, <laughs> and I met him before even Brahmastra came out. Yeah. So little did I know, I would say that uh, you know I was thinking of meeting him, but suddenly I'm just sharing screen with him. So from literally not meeting him to doing a movie with him. I want to know about your first interaction with him. How was that? I was quite nervous, uh, honestly, because my whole childhood was playing, you know, right in front of me, and I was like, "Oh my God, that's him!" Uh, but the thing is that he's just so warm that the first time he met, the first interaction was him just hugging and giving a kiss on our forehead, and suddenly I just like, okay, uh, you know, that just welcomed us, and also so warm that suddenly i just felt like oh okay this is my film too you know this okay i'm just going on my set this is my film i'm also working on it so that was sort of the first interaction uh, because you know i think he has a lot of uh, prosthetics so because of that uh, he was always like caught up with so many things that we didn't get much to talk in the first interaction but this was good enough for me like just getting hugged and you know like a kiss on my forehead i was like okay <laughs> and he is like officially the teddy bear for everyone to be honest yeah the best best because the hugs, best hugs best you hugs, get yeah. is from sharuk yeah, yeah yeah did you feel Hun the same warmth around yes, him yes 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 100% like just the best hugs and they're just so warm and so like <clears throat> like like that you know so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about Extremely. Jawan, talking about Jawan, the entire social media, netizens, the first day collection is on a different level altogether. The movie has worked so well at the box office. How does that make you feel? Because you're a part of this one. Uh, very overwhelming. Honestly, extremely surreal. That it's it's. I mean, I think somewhere or the other, we had a feeling that it'll be doing good because you know it's Shahrukh sir. Yeah. I mean, Pathan also happened, so we were like, okay, hoping for that. But when it's really happening, it's like you know, like a oh, it's really happening. Like in four days itself, it's done so well. Mm. So um, you know, so very overwhelming. And to be a part of it itself, like and getting such good response from people, that uh, it's just like I I can still just be like, oh, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> It, it literally feels that way, you know, when you're working with an actor like King Khan. Yeah. But eventually, when talking about the story, you know, it's Atli's movie, yeah. and it he has his own impact in South, and it's such a spectacular movie. Which one has been your favorite dialogue from this one? From this one, um, I think yeah, the "Beteko hath lagan se pehle baap se." That that's, that's yeah. definitely my favorite. I think it's also comes from a personal space. 
So yeah, definitely. And what do you have to say about Vijay Sethupati? He comes across like a shy person in real he versus is, yeah. the villainous <laughs> character he's he played. Is, what do yeah. you have to say about it? Uh, I think that's the beauty of him, na, that you know he is that shy kind of person. But the moment he's on screen, he just brings in something else altogether. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he has the most amount of um, notes to give for his character, which I noticed the most. That he would just come up with something new and he'll just be like, you know, what if I do this? What if I do that? And you know that all, all those new things uh, is what you know you can go and watch Kali for because yeah. Kali is like such a nuanced and detailed character. If you see those small small things that he's doing with his hands and all, so yeah. So that's that's the beauty of him. He is a very shy person, but on screen he is like the best. <laughs> the movie talks about social topics also and about the political topics as right. well. You know the right to vote the right to exercise the right vote for the right candidate for right. the you know people and also the very important part was the farmers suicide thing and you know you are a major part of that one uh, if you have to like elaborate on that would you, what would you like to say um i would say that uh, you know as a citizen of our country i i feel like covid was definitely those two years which were quite aggravating and at the same time quite helpless uh, you know, when we are sitting and watching news and we are getting to know what's happening around. Um, so, there is like that, you know, like that aggression which was inbuilt. Uh, so, the moment I was just told and you know, I got to know about Kalki, my character and uh, about the film itself. I think it was that uh, ray of hope for me where I was like, oh, okay, this is my way of doing something. Mm -hmm for you know like to make a difference or uh, or to say something out loud from my end and uh, so that aggression I think sort of came out in the film itself even in making of it and I was really happy that Atli sir wrote it uh, and you know he brought in all these topics to make a statement out of it because I feel like with time we end up forgetting it uh, you know like something new will happen and we'll forget about oh two months before this also happened so I'm really happy that this is more like a reminder to everybody that you know what all of this is still been like it, it happened and it's still happening mm. so like just wake up you know so I think as an actor I'm really happy that I'm a part of this film that I could be a part of saying it out loud and especially the journey of farmers you know because there was a really long time when um, uh, even at home uh, we used to watch news and, and it was very like you know it used to break my heart at times and uh, so I was really happy that okay I Kalki is becoming that face of you know for like that fight so I was really happy to be that face and that voice. In fact there have been cases uh, you know as we talk about the social topics and about the political topics you know and there is one of the dialogues where this guy says that it's a wake-up call for all of yeah. us and do you also feel that you know in reality how we wish we had someone like say Vikram Rathor or say Azad who could fight the barriers of the society. But that's what I'm saying now. The movie is saying that the moment everyone wakes up, we really don't need a Vikram Rathor. You know? yes. We already have it right now with us in the movie Jawan and even for people who are going to watch him. But the whole point of the film is that if we uh, wake up and if we know that the how important this is, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. then uh, we don't need, we really don't. I think we, we can be that hero enough if we genuinely just question the right things. Do you, do you also feel that in reality the box office collection numbers have been good? A certain amount could be contributed for the farmers? Yeah, why not? Definitely. And I think uh, in a way it's been happening for a while. I mean, in their own ways, I'm 100% sure that that is happening, you know. I, and we don't really need to promote it as a social, uh, social media, you know, like stunt or something. It can just be done. Mm -hmm. And it's been happening, I'm pretty sure. It just it's, doesn't need to come out. While the movie has been loved by a lot of people, there are some people who are criticizing it. Yeah. Uh, some are also talking about the movie being, you know, copied by a South, you know, from a South film and all. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on that? What do you have to say on that? I mean, uh, who are these people? <laughs> that's my that's my thought on this. Who are these people? Why can't people just go and watch and enjoy what they are watching? Uh, and uh, and I mean uh, that can be questioned in every single film and any single story that you go through at, at the core it can be same but it's about how you're representing it and what you're saying so I don't think that it is anything like that mm -hmm. and whosoever is saying that the film also got leaked online. Um. So I got that in my comment section somebody wrote that ma'am please kuch kariye movie leak ho gaye. 
तो उसमें मेरा सिर्फ एक ही मैंने उनको एक ही चीज़ लिखी थी और मैं यही बोलूँगी कि यू uh, नो you know, कोई कुछ नहीं कर सकता जवान इज जवान नो लीकिंग नथिंग कैन स्टॉप इट फ्रॉम वॉट इज डूइंग दैट्स वॉट आई बिलीव एंड इन फैक्ट शाहरुख हिमसेल्फ लाइक इन रोट इन स्ट्रीट वैन पीपल वॉर शेयरिंग सम सीन्स एंड स्पॉइल अलर्ट ही इज लाइक इन ये फिल्म से मैं जाने दूंगा बिकॉज लेट दिस फिल्म भी लाइक दैट मेरी दूसरी फिल्मों को ऐसे मत करना बिकॉज ही वॉज लाइक Let people enjoy yeah, the movie. Yeah, you know, he yeah. wrote in one of the tweets like, "Okay, you guys enjoy it. You know, share the scenes and all." Right. But he was completely okay with that. Yeah, exactly. Because I think um, the experience of Jawan is in theaters, and you cannot have the same experience at home on laptop or TV. I genuinely believe that. So, if uh, anybody is watching somewhere or the other, they are not getting the full, like the full impact of it. and people should go and watch it in theaters that's the right way to watch jawan and i think he's well aware of it so i'm i, I even we feel like that even my reaction firstly was that only that nothing's going to happen it's okay don't worry just enjoy the film you know talking about your very first scene with sharuk khan how nervous were you and how many retakes you took <laughs> yeah. to work with him so i was i was quite nervous i was quite nervous because it was uh, and the first take out of that was a, uh, a uh, there was a close up of me and he's holding me and uh, there was a lot of pressure of the fact that not to take many takes because you know like it's my close up but he's there and he's he's sweet enough to uh, you know just be there like even though he's just holding me but he was like yeah i'll do that it's okay so um uh, so by first also my very close interaction has happened uh, with him happened that moment only and uh, so it was a technical shot and i had a lot of props you can see i'm holding like multiple things and uh, in that one i had my collar which was a little like uplifted sort of and it was uneven not looking nice on the camera so um you know there was a whole conversation behind where it was like like i could just see those signs where it's like yeah. mm, mm, and i was like all over the place and i was in my own head i was like okay this is more important right now i don't care about that but sweetly you know what happened he just turned he picked all my props he set my collar he put it back he like it's all okay then he saw and since i'm crying in that uh, yeah. scene yes. uh, so i already had like tears and he wanted uh, like at least i wanted like a proper just one drop like very stylistically right yeah. so it just happened and suddenly he you know he just and he like okay wait and then he just literally did that and he's like okay you ready and i was like yeah thank you so much and and in that moment he's like just just stay focused you know like it's a important shot just stay. and i was like okay and internally i was just like okay later on i'm going to feel all of this let me just give a take you know but i think i still ended up giving uh, i think uh, how many 5 5 to 6 takes yeah You of course get you know yeah, a bit nervous yeah, yeah, yeah. because you get yeah, involved and right? uh, in general you know till then i think still things were happening in one or two takes and suddenly five it was feeling like 500 takes have taken you know that five takes <laughs> they, they just felt like that and mentally you're like okay i will do my best and shahrukh sir is here i'll give it in one take you know let me just leave my impression on him mm-hmm. and suddenly i'm like one more one more and by five i was just like I'm not a Fine. good actor, <laughs> probably. You know, like. And imagine so, like, you are yeah. a part of the industry since like 13 years now, almost like 11. Yeah. At the age of 11, you started. Yeah, I mean, consciously, I'll say uh, nine years. Like after Patched. Oh. I mean, okay. before that, as mm-hmm. an actor, 11 years, I was just a kid. I wasn't yeah, a child actor. Yeah, like, child actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into a proper yeah, yeah. actress yeah, yeah, yeah. with a full <laughs> fledged Jawan role. Yeah, I must yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So how you you describe your journey as? You know, how was it for you? Um. I think it's been quite uh, something. <laughs> uh in a way I would say that um, you know like um as a as a child actor honestly I wasn't sure of whether I want to act and uh, so my parents also left that space open like do whatever you want to do figure it out. So I did Jalpuri and after that there was a long break for 3 years I I was not into it because I was in a place where I was like okay I'm doing my you know like 7th standard 8th standard I was yeah, hardly anything Exactly yeah So uh, luckily Tanishtha ma'am remembered me from Jalpuri and she gave my name for Parched to Leena ma'am okay. and that's when Mukesh sir called and you know my conversation with Leena ma'am have happened and the only one thing she asked me was can you cut your hair and i was like again because in jalpuri already i had a boy cut and in oh. two years i just grew my hair and suddenly she was like can you cut your hair we have to cut your hair oh. so i was like uh, okay fine uh, but that was the set you know where i i i come in a you know child actor only to people since i was 14 years old but i was actually nominated for uh, best actor 
for uh, you know like female actor for parched everywhere mm-hmm. with uh, uh, radhika di and you know like all all three of them so um, that was that uh, particular experience which like you know left that in me that oh okay this is what acting is it's mm-hmm. it's it's an art form it's not just like people can't just get up and be like let me just be an actor you know you have to learn it you have to properly know so i think that was that experience where i was like okay this is exactly what i want to do mm-hmm. and uh, i came back home i told my parents that i want to be an actor and uh, their most amazing response was okay then let's shift to mumbai yeah. i was like Okay, I'm not. I haven't thought it through properly. Maybe yeah. you know, like I don't want to leave my friends. I don't want to leave school. Yeah. But uh, you know, but yeah, I think that was the best decision. Um, you know, उन्होंने they just immediately were like, you know, that's the best. I think we should move to Mumbai. That'll be best for you. And uh, the next year, I finished tenth standard, and we left. We uh, in a year we came to Mumbai, mm-hmm. and uh, so that was the best decision. And I feel like all these decisions have been quite good in a way. You know that the journey has been because mm-hmm. after that, I just two years for eleventh and twelfth, I was quite consumed with you know studying mm-hmm. because uh, it was a new uh, board. It was A levels from CBSE. Suddenly doing Cambridge board was too much. Yeah. So I was just studying, studying, studying. But after two years, then I ended up going to college, and over there I ended up getting the master. So then that was something which was like quite unexpected because I was getting to work with Amit Sir and Ranbir, Alia, Ayan Mukherjee, and I was like Dharma, like you know, like all these. You don't even suddenly like yeah, yeah, you do, and you know, you feel like okay, couple of other projects, small small projects, then I'll get there somewhere, and suddenly at the age of eighteen, you're just getting like a movie with Dharma, and so it's been quite unexpected. At the same time, uh, also very like. Uh, surreal, but at the same time, I feel like that a part of me just is quite sure and have that belief that okay, you know, like somewhere or the other, yeah, okay, it's meant to happen. Okay, it it's going on. And and after Jawan, I just uh, like after Jawan, I just feel like that you know, uh, I would say that it's just the beginning. And we have to talk about Mukesh Chabra, who yes. does play a very yes. strong role in your life, because <laughs> it was him for past, and it was him again for Jawan. Brahmastra. There also. was a time, even for Brahmastra, <laughs> and there was a time in your life yeah. um, where you didn't want to be a part of Bollywood. You just wanted to leave everything behind. I mean, it was like a small thought in my head, and that was because of the situation I was in uh, uh, in uh, you know twenty twenty one. uh i don't really talk much about it because i don't i don't know how to really explain it and honestly i feel like uh the less we talk about it the less that pain is shared with people hmm. so um there came a point of time which is quite natural because uh, in my head my my biggest cheer leader has been my father so uh, you know all this while when i was working and everything he's the first person to be like oh my god this is happening oh my god you know like my mom is still like a calm version mm-hmm. but my dad is like that extreme cheer leader version so for me uh, you know going through that whole phase and uh, not having papa home uh, definitely made me feel like that okay uh, i don't know it's not feeling the same so it was for some time but uh, what is more important is after that the change that happened within and i think that him becoming that person who became that uh, you know like um, that source of energy for me to continue actually mm-hmm. because i know that how happy he's been and i know that if i'll continue doing that he's going to be very happy because i think he was always very proud of the fact that i have the guts to continue doing what i want to do you know uh, and he always said that that you know i didn't have those guts i ended up doing business because you know i couldn't follow my heart but i really want you to do that so i think if i would have taken that step back it would have been really wrong to him so i think he became that source of energy to me where i was like okay no i can't i can't stop here and i shouldn't stop here and whatever dreams that we have seen together i'll still fulfill them because he's still going to be very proud of me from wherever he sees me you know mm-hmm. so uh, yeah so now i think i go to set with a with a feeling of uh meeting him conversing with him through my work and you know yeah so it's like that and as we talk about your work brahmastra 2 and 3 is also in pipeline so we really want to know if you're a part of it or no uh, i should be 
because <laughs> I'm, I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think he's still in the process of writing it and you but know, the movie like took a lot of time so imagine the characters also evolve you know there are so yeah. many years yeah. you know going into a movie you know how does that make you feel does it make you feel like yeah. it's like that Hindi version of Avengers the characters are developing you know developing <laughs> developing developing like that I mean definitely um, it took a lot of time definitely also because of COVID the two years extra went into that because the movie came two years after you know the whole COVID thing settled down and everything so uh, yeah it's it's been like if we are still at the age where it's fine uh, if you remember um, the kid the little kid from Ladakh yeah. in the film he ended up growing in front of us like literally he just grew uh, almost I think a feet or something and we Ooh. were like how will we do this? How will we manage this? And uh, you know, and they figured it out like he's sitting at places and all of that. He just grew and he was constantly growing and he of was course. in that age where, yeah, where you grow the most. Yeah, the high. So, <laughs> so like next time we were every time hoping that next time we'll meet him and he might end up having some, <laughs> you know, like mustache. mustache yeah. but like suddenly like he'll just look like older than all of us because he was growing so fast. So yeah, I think that is definitely something. We have this running joke also that by the time second or third will come, we all will have kids and we'll take our kids to watch, look at your look mother, at the character. look at your mom playing like a superhero. It happened for Alia in a way because yeah, exactly. she's See? taking her daughter yeah. in a way. So even we feel like that. Huh. But uh, I think uh, the more it takes, like the time that he takes, I think the better, the best he can remove out of himself and in the film. So uh, I think that's fine. I think we are all like in with him. So, and before I let you go, I have to ask you about coming back to Javan. Yes. What compliment did you get from the industry people and from Shah Rukh after they watched the movie? Okay, so Shah Rukh, sir, I'll, I'll say because um, mm. this was recent. Um, he just ended up, uh, you know, like not very like long or detailed, but like even as an actor, when you're growing up watching one actor who you have idolized your almost half of your life, uh, you just hear them, like hear him say that, Mashallah, you're a very good actor. And he was just holding my hand and he said, and right looking into my eyes and I was just like, <laughs> okay. I was huh. like, okay, I did it. I did something, you know, yeah. like suddenly. So I just looked at him and I told him, I was like, sir, from coming from you, it means a lot to me. Yeah. And he said, yeah, yeah, long way to go. And, you know, so very, 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 uh, so the, yeah, that will always stay like very, very close to my heart. And other than that, there are a lot of, a lot of, uh, compliments flooding right now honestly so to pin one is very difficult but I'm just glad that everyone's uh, comments are somewhere uh, you know around uh, performance hmm. everyone's like have performed really well hmm. we can emotionally feel and connect with Kalki we have cried with Kalki we have shouted when you know she achieves something so I think uh, that is the best compliment I can say as an actor I can get so yeah, that definitely. <laughs> and what are your upcoming projects you're working on? What's well, next? in Pipeline, I feel like once, um, you know, they just start moving and we start having, then at that time we can have another interview for that. Why not? <laughs> definitely. Yeah. And I'm looking we forward to see it. more of you, yeah. more of action-oriented roles. Thank you. And definitely yes. learning something from you, martial arts and all. <laughs> but lovely catching up with you, Leher. Mm -hmm. And it was lovely chatting with you. And Thank know you. more about Javan. And I'm sure it's going to rock at the box office. Yeah. Thank you so much for a lovely <laughs> time. Hi, this is Leher Khan and you're watching me on Zoom channel.